Hey, this is Nicholas with the Backyard Tardis here for some more adventures in locksmithing. Today I thought I'd just talk about what the, the image of a locksmith is. Um, if you were to think of what you think of a locksmith, you're probably thinking of a white male between the ages of 30 and 50, maybe balding, a little overweight. And that's generally the image people get of what a locksmith is. And if you were to go online and look up locksmith, that's the majority of the pictures you would find. Uh, but in truth, locksmiths are very diverse. I know a lot of women that are locksmiths, a lot of young people that are locksmiths, and I also know a lot of people of color that are locksmiths. And so uh, there's kind of this image everybody has of a locksmith, but uh, we're a pretty diverse group. And kind of going along with that, we had... Uh, I mean, the company that I run, it originally was founded by a 12-year-old. A 12-year-old, and that'll be a story for another day. But uh, I, I oftentimes um, will get, uh, people will think that I am a woman on the phone. Something about how my voice carries over the phone uh, leads a lot of people to believe that I'm a woman. And I will constantly get the, well, ma'am, can uh, you please put the locksmith on? And I go, I am the locksmith. And I had one guy go, oh, uh, well, of, of course, of course women can be locksmiths too. And I go, sir, I'm, I'm a man. And then he, oh, uh, um, click. He, he couldn't recover from that. I've had people, I've come to the job and he says, well, the woman at your shop told me. And I go, no, 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 no. That was me you were talking to. And they, they will defend even afterwards that it wasn't me, that it was my, the woman at my shop. I'm like, I'm the one that answers the phone, sir. Uh, but people have a hard time getting out of what the perceived image is. We live in an area with a large Hispanic population, and so we've employed uh, a number of different Hispanic individuals over the years. Um, it's always great because they speak, you know, having somebody who speaks Spanish and uh, can get across that communication barrier. But we had one day we got a call from one of our competitors, and they said, um, do you guys have an illegal working for you? And I go, no. And they said, well, this, so we got a call from somebody you rekeyed the house this morning, and they said that they felt unsafe because you sent out an illegal worker to come do it. And I go, no, no, they've, <laughs> they're born and raised in America. That's, uh, <laughs> he's not, he's not an illegal worker. But uh, sometimes the older generation, like they're so taken back of it because they expect, um, a certain thing when they, coming and when it's not that they they almost like dequalify it when I was younger I got a lot of people would feel that their problem needed the somebody else and I said well isn't one of your managers why are they sending the trainee out and I'd, I'd be in my 20s but I'd be like I've been doing this for three or four years already and I'm like well I, I know how to rekey your house but uh, a lot of people have this image of what a locksmith is. And in fact, locksmiths are very diverse. I know many women who are locksmiths. I have lots of friends who are people of color. I even know a, a locksmith who is Middle Eastern. And I, I thought, man, after 9-11, that must have been really hard. Uh, because I'm sure a lot of people gave him pushback. And that's, that's unfortunate. Uh, but uh, really, when it comes to locksmiths themselves and how they feel about other locksmiths, it's it's really about their skill, what they're good at, what they're not good at. Um, all those other factors don't really matter to us, and we're we're good friends with everyone. And so I, that's something that I just wanted to take a moment and uh, share because people have this preconception of what a locksmith is, and um, that's kind of kind of silly because a lot of other jobs uh people expect diversity now but it, it seems to be like in the security realm uh people kind of have this expectation and that's that's unfair and so hopefully that uh that helps change your image of a uh, locksmith as i you know i'm starting to the ball I'm, I'm slowly getting there i get less pushback now i look a little older i'm in my mid-30s and uh uh, but, uh, you know, people, uh, they have these preconceptions. Anyways, hope everyone's having a good day, and until the next time.